We've spoken a lot on this channel about both Zen and Polaris from AMD, but now we have a bit of a look at what AMD have in store pass those two particular things as AMD are working on a family of APUs codenamed Greyhawk which will be debuting in 2019 on the recently announced 7nm FinFET process. Now this next gen family of high performance APUs will be featuring up to four Zen Plus cores and eight threads with a thermal and power footprint as low as 10 watts. Powering the graphics side of these things will be the integrated Navi GPU with substantial performance and power efficiency advancement. So basically, it seems that Greyhawk is going to be combining both Zen and Navi into one APU. And basically, it's going to be following up the Raven Ridge family of 14NM APUs, which are scheduled to land sometime next year. Now, APUs are pretty damn versatile, and Greyhawk is going to be the most versatile when it comes out. It's expected to go into everything from desktops, notebooks, gaming systems, embedded devices, automation, retail signage, and even being used in medical imaging and industrial control systems. And according to reports, the Greyhawk series of APUs will reportedly debut alongside the 48-core, 96-thread Starship Behemoth sometime in 2019. Now, what Starship I hear you ask? Well, it is a CPU-only chip with 12 times the x86 power of Greyhawk. It's going to be powered by a series of Zen Plus cores and quite a large cache, and is aimed at a completely different market than Greyhawk. It is expected to make quite the impact in the data center and high-performance computing areas, and Starship will be following Naples, which is the 32-core, 64-thread server chip that is set to launch in the second half of next year. Now, as I said a moment ago, the foundation for all of this is Global Foundry's upcoming 7NM. Now, this particular company is pouring quite a lot of cash, that being, well, we don't know the exact figure, but several billion dollars into its production to bring the process up to speed, and it's going to be quite interesting. Got a bit of a comment here from Global Foundry's CEO, Sanjay, sorry, Sanjay Jha. And he said, quote, the industry is converging on 7NM FinFET as the next long-lived node, which represents a unique opportunity for global foundries to compete at the leading edge. We are well positioned to deliver a differentiated 7NM FinFET technology by tapping our years of experience in manufacturing high-performance chips, the talent and know-how of our former IBM Microelectronics colleagues and world-class R&D pipeline from our research alliance. No other foundry can match his legacy of manufacturing high-performance chips. However, Lisa Su, who of course is the president and CEO of AMD, also had quite a bit to say. And she said, quote, Leading edge technologies like Global Foundry, 7NM FinFET are an important part of how we deliver our long-term roadmap of computing and graphics products that are capable of powering the next generation of computing devices. We look forward to continuing our close co collaboration with Global Foundries, as they extend the solid execution and technology foundation they are building at 14NM to deploy high performance, low power 7NM technology in the coming years. So basically, to kind of put all that a lot of information into you know, just more clear cut terms, we've got Raven Ridge APUs coming next year and then Greyhawk coming in 2019. And then of course, in the second half of that year, we have Naples, the server chip, which is then going to be succeeded by Starship, which allegedly is going to be coming sometime in 2019. And as for Global Foundry's 17, sorry, 7NM FinFET, it's actually going to be pretty close to Intel's 10NM. And in terms of timing, they will be available roughly around the same time. And we're going to have a fair bit of parity going on there. And it does mean that Intel is going to have quite the fierce competition when it releases 10NM. 
And of course, all of this does kind of line up with previous comments from Lisa Su, who did say that they're going to be working on several generations of CPUs that succeed Zen, which are going to be referred to as Zen Plus, and both Zen Plus and Navi, which of course is the thing beyond Zen, will be leveraged across the entire 7NM roadmap, which will begin in 2019, and this is going to be beginning with Zen Plus, Greyhawk, and of course Navi itself. So, quite the roadmap that AMD have in store for us, they are certain, certainly kicking things into high gear and the PC gaming space is definitely going to be really interesting of course. We've got Zen to look forward to first, but of course AMD are looking far, far into the future as of course all these things take a lot of time to plan, produce and test. So, that's me done for this particular video, thank you very much for watching, as always, it is very appreciated, all your support, but do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, it does help out, and I will see you next time.